In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Namecheap domain name to Vercel. So this will be to a specific project. So once you're logged in and you've got your projects and you're on the overview page, click on the one you want to connect a domain to. So I'm going to open up this project. Now this project is a very simple to-do list. So if we click on domains, you can see under it, there is the default domain currently. And here is the to-do list. So what we need to do is make the video. So this is the tool which I'm going to add a custom domain to. You can add it to anything. I'm just using this as an example. So we need to go to settings in the top right hand corner after you've clicked on the production development, after you've clicked on your project. Now go to domains and here you see the default domain which is from Vercel. Now go ahead and open up your Namecheap account. Go to the dashboard by going to your username which you've logged in clicking on dashboard and then from here go to domain list that will show you all of the domains you own i'm going to connect this one knowledgebasedvideos.com so click on that and then click manage that will take you into the back end of that domain now go ahead and copy the domain name you can also type it in but i just like to copy it so there's no mistakes then paste it into the my website section make sure it's correct and then click add it will then give you some options i recommend you choose the first one which will add www.yourdomain.com and redirect yourdomain.com to it. It is recommended. So choose this one, then click add. So now there are two ways you can set this up. You can either add the DNS records or you can just change the name servers in your domain. I recommend you go with the name servers option because it is much easier and just the records and the DNS records just gets a bit confusing. And for some reason it doesn't work all the time. So I'm gonna go to name servers and all you have to do now is copy the name servers from Vercel to Namecheap. So click enable name servers and then you'll see the current name servers of your domain and the name servers you need to change it to. So go to now Namecheap, you should already be in the back end. Uh, what I would do first is go to advanced DNS and make sure there isn't any records which are going to conflict with the name servers. So delete anything which shouldn't be here. Then go to domain. Here on domain, you can change the name servers. So scroll down and where it says Namecheap Basic DNS, change it to Custom DNS. Now you've got two name servers available. Copy the name server number one. And remember, this needs to be the Vercel DNS name servers. So copy the first one, paste it into name server number one. Copy the second one and then paste it into name server number two. Then click on the green tick. Make sure you click this, otherwise it won't be added. That should then update and save your name servers. Just give it a second. There you go. It can take up to 48 hours to take effect, but just be patient. This will work. So now you've added them. You can refresh this page or just click refresh. You are going to have to wait a current while to actually see this update. And there you go. Just after maybe 30 seconds, everything has been updated. Your DNS records are set up properly. It can take some time for them to propagate globally. And the SSL certificate is also getting generated right now. So now let's just check if it's working. So we'll copy the domain name and we'll open up a new incognito window. And now it should take us straight to our project. So let's see. It's saying that it's not secure. This is because the SSL certificate is not set up properly. But wait for this to be set up and it should be working. Again, this can take a while for it to propagate. But let's continue to the site anyway because we know it's secure. And there you go, it takes us to the to-do list. Again, just wait for this SSL certificate to be generated. It can take up to 24 hours. As soon as this has a blue tick as well though, you won't have any issues and it will be connected properly.